So hello everybody, Driven by Mars 24.7 is out and besides some bug fixes, it brings some new features for the push, for the apron push for all models, one, two and three, I have a model two here, but as well as the Oxy one for selecting notes. And I was not really aware of that, but some people pointed me to that, that the selection is quite different among the different sequences and I harmonized that so it works now the same in all the different sequences, namely the normal drum sequences, the drum 4-8, as well as the poly sequencer and the normal note sequencer. Maybe let's start with the normal drum sequencer. I've already created a clip and it's running here, so we could create some four on the floor bass drum notes here and selection works now either still using the select to enter this note edit mode so you could use the select button to enable note editing and you see you have selected one note and you could also do the same by long pressing one of the notes doesn't matter which one and then also this mode gets activated and when this mode is active you can select multiple notes for editing so for example if I would select that note you see we have now two notes I could add another one and then for example I could change here the velocity or one of the other options for these three notes. Maybe let's open that here in the editor so you can also see it here in Bitwig so I can drop down here the velocity you will see they get very dark and they get brighter again and in that mode you can still remove notes from editing and if you remove the last note this mode is automatically left and you're back in a normal edit mode another thing is if you're in that mode if you press one of the pads which does not have a note also this mode is left so for example if i would edit these two notes and then press somewhere here also this mode gets turned off if you have one longer note like this, pressing here doesn't do anything that's also intentional. So press the first one to select or deselect it or something else to leave the mode. And as I said, this works the same in all modes. Maybe let's create a clip here on that polysynth track and let's have a look here at the note sequencer and also here in that mode, it works the same. Let's create some notes maybe. And here also I can either activate it with select or by long pressing the note. And then you can also edit multiple notes and for example here increase the velocity. The velocity of these things or lower the chance or stuff like that. Also new is in the poly sequencer because in the poly sequencer one pad does represent all the notes at that step. Let's first create something here and we have now here this chord so we have multiple notes and also a little bit bug fixing if there was another note somewhere this gets now also removed if you clear it again so you see an empty pad here and you are not confused that there might be some notes left here and you can also edit these notes at once for example let's again go here with the velocity because this can be seen very easily that i'm changing here something and what did not work before you could only edit one step but now you can select multiple steps and can change all of these selected notes and the rest works the same if you click an empty pad it leaves that mode and again to enter it just long press this pad also tip here in that mode you don't have to play chords or multiple notes you can also use only one note which is really nice if you want to quickly enter notes of the same pitch so you could quickly then enter these notes then have a note of another pitch and also create notes of that pitch which is very interesting feature which is slower maybe in the other modes then i added something people were asking me lots of times about is the behavior of the cursor keys in the beginning I had it to scroll by one and shift by eight, then I switched it around and basically the same amount of people complained about it, how this should work. And now you can finally configure it if you go here into the settings of the push, go to the controllers push and here you see now the settings for the cursor keys in this workflow section 
cursor keys track option which is left and right scrolling and here you can choose now to scroll by a whole page so by eight which is here the default you can scroll by eight but you can also switch that to only scroll by one and also have this swapping tracks option which is also available normally as the default when you use it with shift but also that can be changed here too so if you prefer for whatever reason to have this by one and this here by eight you can can do this so you can scroll now here by one so it really scrolls the bank by one and not selects the next one that's the difference here so maybe let's show here that here so you see where it's moving it's moving down by one the whole view of this area and with shift i could go now with eight but i don't have that many tracks but we could open here the hardware then we have more and then we can show that so with shift we can now go with eight and if I do it, I can do it by one. The same is available for scenes. That was the most discussion. Do I want to scroll this by one or by eight? So also for scenes, which is the up and down buttons here, you can now configure if it should scroll by one or by one page, which is the default. So you can flip this around if you prefer that. And then scroll accordingly here. This is by one. And with shift, I have it here with eight. And as I said, you could flip that around to your liking. So I hope everybody's now happy with that. If not, shut up. <laughs> no, just joking. I hope you like it that way. And that's it already. And until next time, make some funky music.